Have you wondered how your food stays fresh for so long? Today I'm here to talk about potassium sorbate. So what is it first of all? Potassium sorbate is an artificial preservative that is used to make foods and other products have a longer shelf life. It does this by slowing down the production of molds and yeasts. It can be found in many foods and makeup. Potassium sorbate is a mixture of potassium salt and sorbic acid. Potassium sorbate starts out in a neutral state. When you put it into water, it creates potassium hydroxide and sorbic acid. Now that the sorbic acid is isolated, it is now in an active state. To show how potassium sorbate works, I conducted an experiment. First, I got two pieces of bread and put them into Ziploc bags. Then I put water onto the bags to act as a catalyst to speed up the production of mold and yeasts. I put the bags into an incubator because mold grows best at summer-like temperatures. Finally, I put towel paper onto the bags because mold grows best in the dark. For my experiment, bread 1 will be the test bread with potassium sorbate on it while bread 2 will be the control bread which has no potassium sorbate on it. The stoichiometry The maximum legal concentration of potassium sorbate is 0 0.02 molar. I had 100 milliliters of H2O. How many grams of potassium sorbate do I need? After I did my calculations, I got 0 0.3 grams of potassium sorbate. The experiment. On day one, the control bread's crust had started to shrivel while the center had become soggy. The test bread was exactly the same as how I left it. It had soaked up close to no water and it was still plump in the center and rigid on the sides. On day two, the control bread was easy to squish and had started to decompose. Also, mold had started to accumulate along the crust of the bread. The test bread was almost exactly the same as how I put it on in the first day. Besides it being a bit soggy, it had a hard crust and rebounded back when I squished it. Now that we know a bit about how it works, let's see how it was used in makeup. In makeup, it can be used as a fragrance ingredient or as a preservative to increase the lifetime of the makeup. It can be found in products such as shampoo, body cleansers, body creams, blush, face masks, toner, etc. So what's so bad about it then? When you use the same makeup for a prolonged amount of time, the ingredients such as potassium sorbate can become allergens and cause skin irritation and other allergic reactions such as hives and rashes. In foods, it is only used as a preservative. It can be found in fruits, dried fruits, vegetables, cheese, yogurt, dried meats, pickles, olives, beer, wine, breads, and dips. The potassium sorbate reacts with the chromosomes within DNA and cause chromosomal aberrations. A chromosomal aberration is the deformation of a chromosome in your DNA. They can be caused by x-rays, radiation, or chemicals. Due to deletion, the part at the bottom is now gone. And now, when the DNA will be copied, it will have a missing segment. When this occurs, it is called a mutation. Mutation can cause problems such as an irregular count of chromosomes and irregular chromosomal structure, such as duplication, inversion, and translocation. If a parent has an irregular chromosomal count, it can lead to their child being born with a monosomy disorder, such as Turner syndrome, or a trisomy disorder, such as Down syndrome. Mutations can also lead to tumors, which can be carcinogenic. Those are some reasons why potassium sorbate is harmful for our body. I hope this persuades you to make cautious choices while purchasing these products. Have a great day. Peace.